Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. In this video we are going to see how to implement a PWM controller for LTSPICE. This is the outline of the presentation. We are going to implement a PWM controller including one PWM output isolated one error amplifier, which will be a uh, transconduction amplifier, an overcurrent protection, an input to implement the shutdown of the output, and a 5 volt voltage reference. Finally, we will see how to use this uh, controller in an sample application. Also, we have to uh, know that this PWM controller is going to be inspired on the integrated circuit LM3524, which is very popular in power electronics applications. This is the schematic of the LM3524. We are going to implement most of this circuitry, only that we are going to implement only one output here. We are going, not going to implement both outputs. Probably we will see this in a future video. And we will include the error amplifier, and the uh, protection, our current protection, the shutdown, and also the oscillator, of course, and the voltage reference of 5 volts. This slide shows the information corresponding to the reference section in the integrated circuit. It corresponds to an output voltage of 5 volts with um, given information here like line regulation, load regulation, source circuit current, and so on. But in order to speed up the simulation uh, of our controller, we are going to emulate the 5 volts reference just by using a 5 volt voltage source like this one, and we are going to add a small resistance just of 10 ohms to limit a little bit the current at the output. So in this way, we are going to have a very fast uh, simulation, and this will be enough for our purpose. We have here the information corresponding to the oscillator section. In this case, what is interesting for us is the peak voltage of the sawtooth waveform, which is 3.8 volts, and the valley voltage of the sawtooth waveform, which is 0.6. So we need to generate a voltage waveform like this one here for the oscillator. And we will be using this um, a statement here for this voltage source is a pulse going from 0.6 to 3.8 and when these values for the T on time and the T of time and also for the period. So with this statement we can simulate this waveform and also we can use the F parameter to adjust the frequency of our waveform. Now, regarding the error amplifier section, we have this information here. We will use this operational transconduction amplifier, my OTA, that we developed in a previous video. So you can see how to develop this um, uh, component in this video, Power Electronics number 7, OPA and o sorry, OPA versus OTA based compensators. And uh, in this video, we have shown how to implement exactly this error amplifier for the case of the 3524 uh, circuit. The other thing that we are implementing here is the limiting values for the output that we can get from this parameter here in this um, table, the output voltage swing, which is going to be in between 0.5 volts and 5.5 volts. So we do this using these voltage sources and these two diodes. And considering that the voltage across the diodes, the conducting voltage of the diodes is going to be around 0.7, we have used 4.8 volts for this voltage source. So for 4.8 plus 0.7 is 5.5. 
and for this voltage source we have used 1.2 volts so 1.2 minus 0.7 is 0 0.5 volts for the limiting uh, voltage at the lower level for the current uh, limit uh, section, we have uh, to take into account that there is an internal sense and voltage of 200 millivolts. So we have used this comparator, my comparator with an output uh, with open collector output. And we have uh, developed this uh, comparator in this other video, LT Spice number 5, Implement Ideal Comparators. So you can see how to implement this uh, comparator in this uh, video. Here we are adding in series with the inverting input this voltage of 200 millivolts to include the comparison because the, the protection is going to act whenever the voltage between these two input of the current limit uh, protection is higher than 200 millivolts. For the shutdown section, in this case this is very easy to implement because we can use exactly the same circuit that we can see in the data sheet of the manufacturer with these uh, resistances and, and a regular MPN transistor, bipolar transistor, in order to act uh, on the duty cycle output. So we can see here the final schematic of our PWM controller. We can see the voltage reference section, the error amplifier section, the current protection, and the shutdown circuitry, also in the oscillator. And then we have here the comparator in order to generate the duty cycle, comparing the output of the error amplifier with the uh, sawtooth waveform here. And then we send this signal to this uh, voltage controller, voltage source, so we can connect here our uh, transistor in our converter. And we are adding also an output here in order to have the uh, sawtooth waveform in case that we need it for any application. From this schematic, now it is possible to create both the symbol for our component and also in the description of the behavior of our component that we have um, named as my PWMC, my PWM controller dot SUV here in Notepad. And if you don't know how to do this, you can see also these two videos, LT Spice number three how to create new components, and LT Spice number four, how to create new components from schematics. As always, if you want to save time, you can access my web page. Here is the link. And then in this part, corresponding to the resources, you can go and find the different uh, components. And this component here, my PWM controller, is available here together with some uh, sample simulations. Let's test our component now in a very simple circuit. As you can see here, we are using the controller uh, just by injecting the value of the duty the voltage of the corresponding to the duty cycle here, which is going to be 2.5 volts because we have here the reference, which is 5 volts. And then we are uh, connecting the comp output to the inverting input. So in this case, we are going to have uh, the output of the error amplifier, the same voltage as we have in the non-inverting input. Also, by doing right uh, click on the component, then we can select the uh, switching frequency and the frequency at which is going to operate our controller. We have selected here 200 kilohertz. So we can run the simulation now and see in the waveforms. We can select here the output corresponding to the sawtooth waveform. And also we can see the output corresponding to the error amplifier, which is going to be compared with the sawtooth waveform. Now we can add another prod pane and see the output corresponding to the PWM signal. 
so we can see that everything is working fine and we have our PWN signal here in green ready for uh, driving our power converter. This is another example of simulation. In this case, we are driving a back converter in open loop. The back converter has an input voltage of 10 volts, as we can see here. And also, we are, we are testing the shutdown input by injecting a pulse through this input at a time equal to 400 microseconds. So, in this way, we can test also this input. Let's run the simulation so we can see in the output voltage here and let's also see in the parts corresponding to the shutdown. Let's add first another pane here so we can see the shutdown signal which is going to be on here. Okay, We can see this better maybe if we change this to... 6 volts so we can see here the signal corresponding to the shutdown and this is the uh, output voltage so we can see here the start up of the converter and then reaching here an output voltage of 5.5 point, uh, 5, 5 volts and then when the shutdown is applied then the converter is turned on off here and then tor turn on again so we can see that the shutdown signal is working also pretty well. This is another test of our controller, in this case operating in closed loop. We can see in that we are measuring the output voltage with these two resistances here, which have um, the same value, 10 kilo ohms, and then sending the signal to the inverting input. Also, the duty cycle reference is 2.5 uh, volts, so we are going to expect here an output voltage of 5 volts. We have implemented the compensator using this uh, resistance and this capacitor in series, so we are implementing a type 2 compensator. So now we can run the simulation and let's see the output voltage. So we can see that after the transient, then we are reaching the steady state operation with an output voltage of 5 volts as expected. And finally, we are going to test the overcurrent protection in our circuit, in the back converter. In this case, we are implemented here with this switch a change of the resistance load by connecting this other resistance in parallel in our uh, back converter operating in closed loop and then we are measuring the current through the output by using this uh, series resistance here with this value we are going to limit the current approximately to 7 amperes so with this signal here the current that we are measuring here at this point we are sending this signal to the um, inverting a current limit uh, input then connecting the other one to ground and then with this we can implement the overcurrent protection so we are going to see how this works in our simulation let's see for example the output voltage here and also we are going to see in another pane here the current through the output we can measure this in this series resistance here, the current through the output. So we can see how the voltage is stabilized here at around 5 volts. And then at this point, we, have, we are connecting this switch here. So we have an overcurrent at the output. So we have this transient and then the current as we can see here is being limited to the value of 7 amperes in a steady state operation during the, um, the, the, the time in which the protection is activated and the output voltage is decreasing and limited to this value here around 2.56 volts. Then at this point here the switch, the switch is 
open again and then we are starting another transient and reaching again the 5 volts. So with this we are also testing that our current protection circuitry is operating correctly. So this is all in this video. Thank you very much for watching it and I hope that this video is going to be useful and this component can be also be useful for you in your simulations. Please let me know your comments and see you in another video. Thank you very much and goodbye.